Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I've got a one brand review for you. The brand in the hot seat today is Jones Road and I have got almost $300 worth of their products right here to test for you guys. Now, what is missing from here is the WTF foundation because I did a dedicated review on that a year ago. I'm not gonna repeat that one because, spoiler alert, I kinda hated it. And so I didn't wanna repurchase it for this video because I knew that would be a waste of money. And I also don't still have it because I purged a bunch of makeup about two or three months ago. And when I opened that one up, it had completely separated over the year of not being used. So I ended up throwing that one out. So if you wanna see my full review on the WTF Foundation, I'll link it for you right up here. And and also at the end screen of this video so that you can find it quickly. But so what I have today is everything else in the line. But since this is makeup that's meant to be for kind of a no makeup makeup look, I thought, well, I'll just use it today with my sunscreen, which is a tinted mineral sunscreen, and it kind of acts as my base foundation anyway. So I'm starting today's video with just my sunscreen on, no other makeup. I do have on just a little lip gloss here just to keep my lips you know, hydrated while I'm talking, but let's go through the box. I'll tell you what I got. We'll put on each product and I'll let you know my thoughts on them. I will wear it throughout the day and then we will know how the rest of the Jones Road brand is, at least on my more mature, less than perfect skin. So if you're not familiar with me or my channel, I'm 61. I have combo skin. I am slightly oily in the T-zone, but not super oily. The rest of my face is normal to dry around my mouth sometimes or a little bit up here in my temples. I have enlarged pores from many years of sun worshiping and so I like makeup that minimizes the look of my pores. I do like kind of a natural, dewy, youthful look on certain parts of my face, but I do like to powder other parts to reduce those pores. I also like things that I don't have to touch up too much that last throughout the day. All right, let me just run down the products that I purchased quickly. I've got the Miracle Balm in the shade Happy Hour, the Tinted Face Powder in the shade Light. I got their blush, which is called the Best Blush, and this is in the shade Peachy, the Best Eyeshadow in the shade cream, just a sec eyeshadow in cool taupe. Got the face pencil in two shades, seven and shade eight. The brow pencil in ash blonde. I got the best pencil, which is their eyeliner in violet. The lip tint in nude mauve. And I also grabbed their mascara in pitch black. All right, so here's what my skin looks like with just my sunscreen on. The sunscreen I have on today is the Elta MD UV Elements SPF 44. It's one of my longtime favorites. It has just been reformulated. This is the older formulation. It's a tinted sunscreen and the tint matches my skin pretty well. And it, it does have a fairly shiny, luminous finish. Kind of evens out my skin tone. It's very sheer. So you can see like my age spots. You can see the little bits of redness I have. So let's go ahead and start with the face pencil. This this one is shade seven. This one is shade eight. I'm gonna go ahead and use shade eight because it looks to be a little bit more neutral, a little bit more peachy. I'm just gonna add a little bit under my eyes. And I'm just gonna blend that out with my finger. So weird, I'm so not used to using like a pencil to put something under my eye. I really prefer things with like a doe foot applicator. It just seems more gentle. Like this just seems to be tugging a little bit at the skin. And it's sitting on my skin pretty badly. Can't say I love it. I'm always red like around the edges of my nose, so I'm just gonna put some heat down here, kind of reduce some of the redness and blend that out. I've gotten so many requests to review the Jones Road products lately, and I think it's because of their Instagram ads because I think everyone's getting hit with those. I think also, you know, there's a desire as we get older to have makeup products that are easy and that, you know, make us look natural, not completely made up, but yet better than we are. And I'm always looking for something like that. Let me go ahead and do the other eye. I mean, what's nice about these kind of brands is that you just use your fingers to apply everything. You don't really need a lot of brushes. I mean, as far as concealer goes, that is not how I really like my concealer looking. That is sitting weirdly on my nose. It's like, going into my pores and looking mottled. It's definitely not blending well over here. <laughs> I don't know. I don't get products that don't sit well on the skin. All right, so then the next product is gonna be the Miracle Balm. This product is mainly made out of castor oil and beeswax and a bunch of other oils. It's got mica in there for the sparkle. It says to dig your finger in there and break the seal. 
and then warm it up between your fingers. It's all up under my fingernail. It says you can apply it with your fingers, with a brush, with a sponge. Um, I'm just gonna pretty much use this as like a highlighter. This definitely has that same smell as the WTF. It's very natural medicinal, kind of rosemary-ish. All right, so we can see that on there. It does have a little bit of color in it. I don't really see the color on my face. This is definitely very kind of sticky and greasy feeling. If you don't like that greasy feeling that some sunscreens give you, you won't like this. But if you don't mind that feeling or if you have dry skin, you could really love this. With my skin, it definitely kind of sits on the surface and makes me feel a little greasy. Things tend to stick to it. You know, I take my dogs for a walk, it's windy out, my hair's stuck to my cheeks. I'm like, ugh. But that's why I got the powder because I like to be able to powder my under eyes and the fronts of my cheeks to have less of that kind of oily look. I really like it that it has a little twisty thing here so you can close it for travel. I'm gonna use my Nikki LaRose N15 brush. Pick up some powder on the brush and I'm just gonna press it like right in the areas that I want to mattify a little bit. This is a really finely milled powder. It feels really nice. And I'm just gonna go under my eyes and just on the very front of my cheeks, upper lip. From a distance, this is looking okay. As far as just having like, you know, part of my face be glowy and the middle part be a little bit more matte, I think that is working out. The concealer is looking really terrible under my eyes. The powder didn't help any. So let's go ahead in with the blush. This is the best blush in peachy. And I'm going to use my A507 blush brush to apply this. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of the blush and just pop it on. Ooh. It's a very light color, but it's pretty pigmented. And I think because the Miracle Balm is like waxes and oils, I think the blush is really sticking to it. So for the eyeshadows, I bought the powder eyeshadow in the shade cream. And I also bought the little pot eyeshadow in the shade cool taupe. All right, gonna use my A501 brush with the powder eyeshadow. I don't have any lid primer on today. But this feels really nice. It doesn't feel super powdery. It's giving me good color payout. So that seems good. And then for this one, I think I'm just gonna try to just pop a little bit on with my fingers since it is like a cream. It's a really pretty like shimmery taupe. I'm just gonna pop that on. You know what, I think I'll try it with a brush on the other eye. It's hard to get my finger in there with a fingernail. Let me go ahead and use my A505 brush. This one was specifically made for shimmers. Ooh, that's so pretty. Okay, let's go in with the eyeliner. This is in the shade Violet. All right, I was gonna try to tight line with it. Mm, it's not giving me any payout in the water line. Can't tight line with that. We'll have to do a top liner instead. This is so hard. I'm not used to eyeliner pencils being so hard. I'm used to creamier pencils. This one is just really difficult. Should I do a little under? I'll just do like the outer third corner. Oh my goodness, this concealer is so settled in my wrinkles. Let me see if I can show you. Okay, what happened? My camera just went off, so I don't think it was recording when I was putting on the mascara for some reason. I don't know when it stopped recording, so. The mascara is really, really pretty. Let me just show you with and without. And that's just one coat, so that's really good. So far, the thing I like the best. Okay, yeah, really pretty mascara. Let's do the brow pencil. I got this in the shade Ash Blonde. Here's the shade on the brow pencil. It's weird, it's like big clumps of it keep coming off in my eyebrows. I don't want them to fall and end up on my cheek. Okay, one eyebrow versus the other. Not a bad looking brow pencil. I don't mind it. I think the color is really good, really natural on me. Really kind of beefed up that eyebrow a little bit. Okay, here, I just want to show you what's happening. I hope you can see that. Yeah, those tiny little balls keep forming on the edge of the pencil. It's just balling up, like it's not going on my brow. Why such a struggle? Brow pencil seems like the most basic thing. <clears throat> Comb it through a little. Okay, 
think that looks nice. Here is what the lip tint looks like. And here's the swatch on that. Hmm, that is such a pretty color. My goodness, I love how creamy this feels and nice. And uh, hopefully it will stay creamy and nice feeling and not be drying. So, okay, there is like the whole Jones Road look. Nope, that's not it. I was gonna put a little bit of this over the top to add, make a little bit more highlightery. So let me just get a little bit more of the, the Miracle Balm. And I'm just gonna pop it right at the tops of my cheekbones. I don't wanna bring it too far forward because of course that's where I powder to make my pores look less visible. All right, so here's the finished look. Pretty quick and easy, looks nice for an everyday look. It's fine from a distance. Let me show it to you up close. There's definitely some weird stuff going on. The only thing that I really am not happy with the look of right now is the concealer. Doesn't look good on my nose, doesn't look good under my eyes. I just think it's too drying for like my mature skin. It doesn't sit well. All right, so looking at everything up close, let's first start with the under eye concealer. Uh, hopefully this is focusing enough that you can see that it is settled in all the tiny, tiny little creases right underneath my lash line. It's really not giving me that much coverage of inner corner darkness and it's also settled in diagonal wrinkles from the inner corner of my eye going towards my nose. I'll look at the end of my nose and you can see that the concealer is sitting in my pores giving me that polka dot pore look where it's red around and then kind of you can see the color in my pores and if we look at the side of my nose you can see that it's kind of skipped over some of my pores i don't like how the concealer looks really anywhere on my face. I think the powder looks fine. It's definitely helping to minimize the look of my pores directly on the fronts of my cheeks. I think the blush is really pretty. I think the Miracle Balm looks nice. I think the eyeshadows are really pretty. I don't love the color on the eyeliner. I think the mascara is gorgeous and I really like the brows. And I think the lippy is really, really pretty as well. It's a little afternoon now, so I'll come back in a few hours to check on it. I'll probably do a four hour and an eight hour to check in on the mascara and the eyeshadow and you know, the lippy, and we'll see how that stuff wears throughout the day. All right, hey you guys, I'm back. It's time for the four hour check-in on the Jones Road makeup that I have on today. And uh, during the time I had some lunch, I took my dogs out for a walk. It's so cold and blustery out today. It's only like 38 degrees and the wind is howling. The lippy has all worn off because I did have lunch, but I did like it. It didn't feel drying. So let me just reapply. I love this color. I love how it just goes on so easily. So, so far the big winner of the video is the lippy. I really, really like this. All I'm doing today is working on my taxes. Have you guys done your taxes yet? Oh, what a chore it is every year. But anyway, back to the makeup. Let's start with the under eye concealer. I think it looks terrible. It's all worn off underneath both eyes. It's definitely patchy and crusty looking. It's settled into wrinkles below my eyes and it just looks bad under the eyes in general. On my nose, it also looks terrible and it's also all worn off. So it settled in my pores. It skipped over some other pores. At this point, it's looking patchy and cakey and the end of my nose is all red again and it's just very like mottled looking. The eyeshadow is very creased in the crease of my lid. It's not spread evenly around my lid anymore. Within four hours, do I want my eyeshadow looking like this? I do not. The mascara, can I say, I love it. It is beautiful. My lashes look great. I don't see any smudging. I don't see any transfer and I don't see any flaking. It's not clumpy. My eyebrows, I think, still look really good. That eye pencil is good. You know, maybe it was just the first use that it was crumbling like that. I think the blush is still in place. I actually really like the Miracle Balm when used as a highlighter. I think it gives a nice sheen to the skin and it doesn't feel overly greasy the way that the foundation did. My only criticism of it is that it definitely did leave a couple of the mica flakes on my cheeks. And so I have like just a couple of pieces of glitter that you can see on my cheeks, which I don't love glitter and everything. The tinted face powder, I think is a pretty nice product as well. That's really keeping my pores 
looking not accentuated. And finishing off at the lips, I love the lippy. It didn't dry out my lips, feels really comfortable. It's got a really good amount of coverage. It didn't run up into my lip wrinkles or anything. So that's the scene here at four hours in. I'll come back at the end of the day just to check on the mascara. Hey guys, I'm back. It's time for the eight hour check-in on the Jones Road makeup. This is definitely a mixed bag. Some things I like, some things I really, really don't like. Nothing has really changed too much from the four hour check-in to the eight hour check-in. You know, where it was worn off before, it's still worn off. Where it was settled into my wrinkles and looking patchy and looking terrible under my eyes and on my nose, still looks terrible. The blush is still in place, the Miracle Balm, I can still feel that greasy <laughs> feeling there, but I don't mind it because it's only, you know, spotted on it. The only thing that's changed since my last check-in is the mascara. I've got quite a lot of flaking under this eye, really none under this eye. The lippy has worn off. I did have dinner, so obviously, but you know, I think it's just not a long wearing type of lip thing. The things that I don't like, I really don't like a lot. So let's talk about them first. That would be the face stick. They're terrible as under eye concealer. They're terrible as regular concealer. It just doesn't blend. It just doesn't sit right. It sits in your pores, gets in your wrinkles, wears off really quickly, is clingy to dry skin. It's patchy. They just looked terrible on my skin. Let me know if anyone has tried these pencils and if you love them. I really haven't heard anyone like rave about these. I mean, this is a product that she's always talking about in the ads on Instagram that I see. And you know, and I see her using it on people and you know, dot, dot, dot. But they never come in close to show you what it really looks like. Now do they? And you know, that's what I do because I look at myself that close and I want the stuff to look good up close. And there are so many products that do look good up close that why would you spend your money on this? Also, they're not cheap. Like these little pencils, 25 bucks for one of those. That is crazy for something that I'm, you know, like never gonna use. A way better concealer, in my opinion, is the Lancome Tint Idole. I'm sure this is probably more than $25, but still, this will last forever. It doesn't dry out my skin and it keeps everything covered and it doesn't settle into my wrinkles. So I like that a lot better. And then the other two things that I really didn't like were the eyeshadows. These were kind of a fail for me. I suppose I could try them again and use an eyelid primer and they would probably last much, much longer because they were pretty when I first put them on and they were fairly easy to work with, but they just didn't last throughout the day. Did not love the eyeliner pencil. This for me was just too stiff too hard, wasn't comfortable putting it on. I had a real hard time getting any color payout. It would not deposit any color on my waterline at all. So if you like to do waterline liner, you can't with this. The blush is $28. Now this I think is expensive. $28 for this tiny blush. And how much is in there? You get 0.08 ounces. So not even a 10th of an ounce in here. <laughs> I think this was pretty. Do I think it's worth $28 for this tiny little blush? Not really. So let's move on to what I did like. Probably my favorite, favorite product of this whole group is going to be the lip tint. I love this lip tint. I love the color. You know, it's not gonna be the most long wearing thing that you've ever worn, but it's so creamy and it feels so hydrating and it didn't dry out my lips at all. And then probably my second favorite thing is gonna be the mascara. Even though it is flaking under this eye, it's not flaking at all under this eye. So I'm like, was I rubbing this one? You know, maybe. One coat, it gave me really nice volume, really nice length, no clumps. Next is going to be the brow pencil. I really like the color on it. Um, and it wasn't hard to use. I was just a little bit disappointed that big, Chunkers of it kept coming off in my brow and I had to kind of either remove them or rub them in. It stayed in place really well. And it also has a little bit of waxiness to it. So you get it on your brow hairs and it helps to hold them in place a little bit. So really enjoyed the brow pencil as well. I really like this setting powder. I like it that there are shades in it to choose from. I like the container that it does have this little swivel part so you can close it. And I like the powder. It's very finely milled. It doesn't add any heaviness or any cakiness. It's really worked all day to keep the fronts of my cheeks mattified and to keep those pores disguised. And I feel like it's also really worked well here. All right, next on the I like it side is 
gonna actually be the miracle balm. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I actually kind of like this. I am a sucker for a highlighter, so you know, if you're not into like a glowy, dewy, sparkly highlighter kind of thing, you might not like this at all. I don't usually like things that have fragrance in them, but you know, I use so little of this that I didn't get a ton of the fragrance. I couldn't smell it on my face. I only smell it when I open it. This I think is actually pretty. I was a little disappointed in the shade on this one. I didn't feel like it really gave that flush of color that I was expecting from it because I got it in happy hour. This is more of a silvery, cool pink. This was supposed to be great for all complexions. So if you like an icy, kind of highlight, this would be the shade to get in this. But if you like more of a warm highlight or if you wanted it to act more like blush, I would not get it in this shade. So yeah, definitely pick up the lippy, pick up the mascara. If you like a good, like greasy gooey highlighter, pick up the Miracle Balm and also the brow pencil. So. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful and informative, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell while you're down there. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care everybody, bye-bye.